Hey everyone, my name is Mike Aubrey. I'm one of the evangelists on the Fusion 360 team and this video is going to show you how to use the newest script that I've written using the Fusion 360 API called the Max Fillet script. And what the Max Fillet script does is it allows you to return the maximum possible fillet that you can create without having it fail. So let me show you an example of where you'd use this. So this is the a pair of glasses that I worked with this really awesome designer out of New York called Adam Mugavaro. I found myself doing an awful lot of this. Like I'd be like, okay, I got a 0.1 millimeter fillet to work here, but I want to maximize that. Can you do one millimeter? And I'd be like, no. I'd be like, okay, can you do like 0.4 millimeters? Uh, maybe. Can you do 0.5? So I ended up doing a lot of these things of just kind of guess and check to make things work. And all I wanted to do was just get to the maximum state. So I did kind of this little bisecting kind of guess and check black magic to it. And what I've created here is that you can have a script to actually do that for you automatically, just iterate until it fails. Uh, so all you have to do in this, using the script is to get the maximum fill it is start with a, a state that is um, that you think is, is pretty close to the maximum state. So here, half a millimeter, it seems to be working great, but can we go a little larger? I'll go and I'll choose that and then go and select the the, the, the fillet. That's important. Order matters. And then under your scripts, um, assuming that you have it installed, and can you run through how to, how to do that, just go to this max fillet, say run, and what it'll do is that it's going to run, it's going to start off by trying to make it a centimeter bigger, and if it fails, it'll go back to the previous state, and then it'll go try and make it a tenth of a centimeter bigger. If it fails, it'll go back to its previous state, and it keeps going until it finds a, a significant figure down to four significant figures, and then it'll run it up on, on, on incremental stuff until it fails and it'll return back what the maximum size fillet is it could get. So in this case, look, it got a little bit bigger, not a lot. If I go here and say it was 0.5 before, and now it's 0.65, and so that is the maximum size fillet we could get out of this, so I'm out to four significant figures. So actually, let's, let's bump it out. If I walked it up to, uh, to 66 here, yep, can't do it. So that's, I, I think that's pretty neat. It's a, it should be a real productivity uh, enhancer for you and get these types of um, maximum nice curvature going faster than if you're trying to do it by hand. So it's, uh, it's not perfect. You, you can fail it. Uh, so I'll run you, next I'll run you through a couple of ways to, um, to, to make sure you understand kind of how it's working. So here's a, a really simple example where I have a really small fillet. And one of the first things that where you will get a, a, a bad result is if the fillet is, is too flexible. So the way the normal fillet environment works is if it gets to a fail state, it'll try and actually heal the surface. And what you don't like here is this will actually create a, a asymmetric situation and actually even kind of implode on itself. And so if you do this, and so if I go back and run that fillet under those situations, you see it'll give you a result that you don't quite like. So here, if we go back and say max fillet, run it, yeah, it does. that's not quite what I wanted. So every iteration it runs through, though, you can go back. So in this case, it only does three iterations before it fails. So if I go back here, there's only, actually, it's just the one. It'll go back, and uh, that's, if you have one where it's going through 14 or 15, you can kind of go back and massage where the middle one was. The ways to make it so it behaves a little bit more predictively is in those situations, run it as a G2 fillet instead, and that one's a lot more fussy. So if we run this guy as a G2, uh, basically, it won't do any healing. Basically, right when it gets to a fail state, it just says, yep, I'm done. So get in that situation, run it then as a G2, and take a look. You'll see this guy, go scripts, run, max fill it, and uh, works like a charm. So I, I think that's super handy, and that should give you a little better idea of how things are working. Um, to to fine-tune it, if you go and edit that script, and I'll post it below kind of where that is, um, some ways that you can you can critique how it's how it's working in the script itself you can change it around and these guys are worth looking at there's a, a grow variable of basically uh, how 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 much you want it to grow on that first round of, of iteration so one is one centimeter I actually I should call it that one centimeter uh, one centimeter equals one uh, so if I wanted this thing actually to be to start at a lower value you could start it at point one. Um, and then the next one, sig fig, is how many iterations do you want it to run through before it stops? So I'm going out four, but if I want it to go really go out a bunch, you could have it go five or just one, just change that value. So that's a little just quick background of how it works. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have a, a, a great time using this, this tool. I'm really excited to have it. I've always kind of wanted this, and now I have it. And I can't wait to see what you create using it. Take care.